Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of the Almighty be upon us all. Today we will be discussing a very, very important topic and that is unity and the diversity in unity. Many people have misunderstood the entire meaning of unity. Some feel that it means everyone must think the same, everyone must do the same, everyone must believe the same, everyone must be in one direction and then only we will be considered united. Whereas that is absolutely impossible. If we've ever thought of it, even within one family, two members of the same family cannot achieve that. Even husband and wife cannot achieve that. So what then is the meaning of unity? When we stand united, we have certain common goals and we have certain common items we'd like to achieve, the goals, the objectives, and we work towards them. And these are broad objectives. The fact that we can tolerate each other, sometimes you may even have a person whom we can be united with, but his aims and objectives are slightly different to ours. And when we say united, we stand together, we respect each other, we do not harm each other, we tolerate each other, we can engage with each other in discussion, possibly even in debate, nothing wrong with a respectful debate, in order to learn and not in order to hate each other and to draw lines. However, when we have that common purpose, we need to know Primarily, we are human beings. We all have a nose, we all have eyes, and we all have the faculties that we do have. We are all in need of oxygen, and we would all suffer if that oxygen was taken away. We all need water, we need food, and this is why we need to cooperate. The Quran says, Wala tansa fadla bainakum. Do not forget the virtue that you need to adopt between one another. There is a virtue. I respect you, you respect me. You have a person who's a doctor, another one who's a plumber, one who's a lawyer, and one who might be a scholar. Each one needs the other. So for example, if we have a bad relation with everyone who's not in our field, the day we get sick, we won't have a doctor who's connected to us. If I am sick at two in the morning, and because I've had a good relation with someone who was a doctor, I can pick up the phone and in two minutes he can be at my doorstep. Why? Because we are united. We have different fields totally, but we respect each other. We smile at each other, we have a common goal, we share, we may even exchange gifts now and again, and we, we tolerate them in a great way. Sometimes people don't understand this. And this is why even the baker and the plumber, we never underestimate anyone to the degree that even the one who works for us, cleaning our place and so on, it could be us doing it tomorrow, may the Almighty grant us all good jobs, but we would require the one who has employed us to respect us. If there is no respect, there is no unity. But the minute there is respect, we have stand a greater chance to be united, to stand united and to face that which would you know, be a challenge against us standing as a united human being family, the family of humanity. So the first circle we have drawn here is the circle of humanity. We have that in common and every one of us has to have certain um, items like we mentioned moments ago, the air and so on, nobody can say, no, I'm not a part of this and I don't want it. If we don't unite in that, we would then suffer the floods, we would suffer so many other things and we would not be able to help one another because when I see you drowning, I leave you. When you see me drowning, you leave me. When the flood happens, you notice people put aside all their differences and they go out to sacrifice even their lives in order to save someone else. How many have we heard of? Plenty people who have lost their lives saving people they don't even know. Those are the heroes, the heroes of humankind. And this is why we say it is not difficult to achieve unity if only we understand what unity is. The problem is we have lost the live and let live policy. People want to prove that they are better. They want to prove that others are worse. They want to stand higher than everybody else. They, want, they believe that we are the only ones who are right and we will fight those who do not think the way we think. That is not acceptable. Even within religion, we have the right to believe we are right. But we do not have the right to claim that we are the only ones who are right or that we will fight those.